Yes people, welcome back to another video. So I'm currently parked up in a lay-by on the A591 just up from Filmia and I'm going to head up towards Nevermost Pike and Dolly Wagon Pike for a wild camp. Oh, it's an heavy one today. Let's go. Well, the same as last week's trip, the weather's not great. Bits of rain, bits of wind up on tops, plenty of clag. You know how it goes by now. Electrolytes, bang one in my water bottle now. So it looks like we're gonna be following the path that's side by side with this gill that runs all the way up through the valley. Tell you something, it's hard work this today, really feeling it. I've just popped up out of that valley. I'm now heading towards Grisdale Tarn. I've actually done a camp there before and I didn't realise that that's where we're heading towards. Once we get to Grisdale Tarn, we'll be turning left and I think it could be up that big boy. I'm not sure. I'll have a look up map soon, once we get closer. Anyone know what these are or what these were? Let me know in comments. Yeah, it is that beast we're going up. Right, so I've reached Grisdale Tarn, it's all making a bit more sense to me now. So that seat sandal, I've been up there, bagged that one. Straight forward is Fairfield. That is a beast, man, getting up there. Oh, what a killer that was. I went down it and up it, obviously I went down it to go up seat sandal and then back up it the following day after I'd camped at Grisdale Tarn. But it is getting late, so I need to crack on and get up here. This is where I turn left. And this looks like a beast of a climb. Got to navigate this bog first. More of these weird things here. Honestly, this is slowing me down big time. I've still got that beast to climb yet. But if you think climbing up it's hard, imagine folk that built that wall. Well, I say built that wall. Not exactly built, is it? It's just a pile of rocks. But anyway, fair play. All right, we're nearly at the summit of Dolly Wagon Pike. As you can see, the weather's really turned up here. Snow, clag, rain, wind, you name it, it's got it. So, I ain't done much filming coming up that bit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is hard. Honestly. I don't know if it's just because the amount of crap I've brought with me or because I did quite a long walk yesterday and I put quite a few miles in this morning before I even starting this video. But, I had to dig deep then and get up that little scree bit. So we're nearly at the summit now. We've lost a lot of light, which is why I didn't film much because I just had to crack on. There's a time and a place to be a YouTuber, but when you need to dig deep, you can't be messing about. So nearly at the top now, and then I'm just gonna pitch my tent up straight away. So we're just off the summit. But I found a nice grass flat patch just a bit further down, hopefully out of the wind. So I'm just gonna pitch the tent up here and then we'll bag that soon. Right guys, all pitched up on Dolly Wagon Pike, Hilleberg Solo, Black Label. Let's get in this tent. Well, it sounds like that weather's coming out there. So vital to get out of all your wet gear, into down gear. Do you know what I've got actually to warm me up? This is gonna go down a treat. Tin of tomato soup. <laughs> Where's the ton? At least I know the pack will be lighter tomorrow. So I'm gonna get that on now actually. Warm me nicely up that. This is gonna be just what I need. Tommy soup. So good. Underrated. Right, I'll give you a little tour of my, let's say, cosy setup. 
So we've got the flex tail pillow on the Firmarest NeoAir x light mat. Vestibule's a bit of a mess. I've got my tin of tomato soup that I had earlier, using that as a bit of a rubbish bin for now. Jet ball skillet, X boil, alcohol stove in case my gas starts freezing. There's my gas. Soto Windmaster stove, decent. I've got two pots with me this time for boiling because that one is just for brews. Perfect amount, 400 mil. Fits my, do this about, oh, fits my X mug perfectly. And then that one at the bottom is what I've been using to make my soup and what I'll be using to make my scram for tonight. I've got a X, X cup. I don't know what they're called. X ball. It's got to be that, isn't it? Two sparks and my spatula from my jet ball skillet. In that bag there is just coffees and what have you. They're just my SD cards. Need to go back in that bag. That bag is my electronics bag. Then I've got my scram for tonight. I'll show you that later. This is why I've been carrying so much weight in it. All this crap. Just a little emergency energy boost if I need. Probably save that for the morning. Can of Pepsi Max, more unnecessary weight. Same with this, why am I carrying this? Fry light olive oil. Same again, unnecessary weight. Those bags are just, what are they from? Oh yeah, just from my stoves. Stove bags. Uh, that's my woolly hat that I wore to hike in. It's a bit damp now, but I've just been using it to wipe down tent, a bit of condensation and that. Uh, let's bring it around here. Oh, these pockets. So I've got head torch. I've got a head torch on my head at the moment, but that's my second head torch. Sun blesser. I just keep that in there. And then if I need it, I know where it is. Same with lighter. Not worse than losing lighter. So I've got a Barcelona lighter. Shout out Ben and Lexi. Little present. Oh, what else in that one? No, nope, that's in that one. In this pocket, I've got... Just some stuff for clearing pots and that. Just for wiping balls down at spoons, tissues, all that good stuff. You can never have too many tissues when you're camping. And cloths and what have you. And a survival bracelet. So a spare cord if I need it. It's got a flint on it as well so I can spark my kettle if I need to. Compass, LED SOS. Probably unnecessary weight but I've got it. It's a little backup. So I'll put that in there. And then down here, what have I got? I've got my GoPro on charge. I'm currently filming on the phone. I've got my Anchor 28,000 or 28,600, summer, I don't know what it is. Uh, power bank, anyway. I've put that inside one of my gloves just to help it hold its power because obviously the cold temperature drains the batteries very quick. In this one, I've just got another power bank. Because I used this last night quite a lot, I've been charging GoPros and that. I just brought this one with me just in case as a little backup, a little 10,000 with an iPhone cable on the end. That's my GoPro on my smaller tripod. I tend to use this inside the tent because my other one's a bit bulky. I've got a Godox Lightmons light there just for help with filming. GoPro, all that good stuff. And that's about it. Oh, and this is my tent light. Another unnecessary weight, big bulky boy. Probably could have done without this considering I've got my flex tail pump in my electronics bag, which also acts as a light. But yeah, it's a good light, that. So yeah, I think that's about it in here. Oh, and that's my main tripod. It's a big old boy, but it reaches out pretty long. So it's not bad. And if I flip that, where is it? I can just put my phone in that then. So when I'm watching stuff on Netflix and that, Netflix and chill, you know how it goes. Then I can just chill in bed, angle that how I need it to. So yeah, that's it. Over there. Vestibule's not overly big, but it's enough for cooking. Got all that there. Then my boots, Solomon Quest 4. I went for them today instead of the scarpers that I wore yesterday. 
just because they're a bit more flexible and I don't really need to be wearing those scarpers when I'm not going to be wearing the crampons. And I want to make sure I get plenty of life out of these because I only got them last year. Over there's my bag, my tent pole, which I'm going to put that further in my bag. And well, I'm going to put it inside my bag just in case that wind gets up. Don't want that blowing away. Spare little microfiber cloth, which I used to wipe the tent down. Having camped last night and everything got very wet, I wanted to try wipe down as much as I could, just to try keep the inner dry, really. Gloves drying away there. There my liner gloves that go inside. They're nearly dry. Oh, one's fallen off. Hang that up. Sorry about this filming, guys, on this phone. I have got a wide lens like the GoPro has. That's a dry bag. It's just got the clothes that I wore while I was hiking in today. Apart from... Oh, and all my little odds and sods bags for, like, firm rest and that, and my hot socks. So, my waterproofs, yeah, they're inside my rucksack, actually. Folded up inside their own hood. What am I wearing? So, new down socks. My mum got me them, Rab Hot Socks. Really comfy. And they've got more of a base than my Naturite ones. They're a bit tougher and they're synthetic. So it doesn't matter if they rub up against the wall of the tent, if they get damp or whatever. Sleeping bag of choice. Rabba Scent 900, which is my winter bag. Fresh woolly hat to wear. Sorry about the head torch on my head. This is my new Simmond coat from Decathlon. I think it goes down to like minus bloody 28 or something ridiculous. But it's just good because it means I don't have to chill inside a sleeping bag while I'm just pottering about. I can just have my down pants on. Oh yeah, my down pants are nature like. There we go. It's awful filming on phone, but needs must and that. GoPro's charging. Right then. I think it's time for a scran soon, what are you saying? My belly needs filling. That soup, though, went down a treat. Oh, I'll tell you something else as well. I'm going to spin you back round. This is so underrated. This is Ed Light. It's not even a genuine firm rest. It's just a fake one from... Where were it from? AliExpress or something. Sling that down as soon as you get in your tent. And just the difference between the floor and that. It's pretty epic. And then you don't have to worry about pumping your mat up or out. And I say I'm filming on phone because GoPro's charging, but I've got about three spare batteries in there. I don't know why I'm charging it. Another little gadget that I've got. Let's see if it's still turned on. Oh, yeah. It's 0 0.6 degrees outside, so it's not dropped that cold yet, but it will get into the minuses tonight, according to the forecast anyway. And the wind chill will be much less than that if you were to go outside. And then out of nowhere, we've had no wind for ages. Rumble in the jungle. <laughs> Not a lot going on out there. Right then, what's for scran I hear you ask? That good old classic, Spam and Beans. Quite a lot of Spam there, you know, boss. Can't be a bit of spam, mate. Good old classic. None of that fancy shit. None of those steak bloody sandwiches and that. Who has them? So I've got a bit of a rotation station going on here. Beans are in. Spam's there, just chilling. Going nice and crispy, that looks beautiful. And then as these start to boil, I'm just going to drop that spam in there. And to make it even better, I've got some fire sauce, some Taco Bell. Right, beans are nearly done now, so in with the spam. Remember, James May once taught me, a bean boiled is a bean spoiled. So you don't want to be killing them off. Just get them nice and hot. Right, that spam's in. Just a cheap and cheerful meal, really. Nothing too exciting. But that'll keep me fed for rest at night. And I can always just keep heating it up if I don't eat it all at once. Sick. Come on, Dolly Wagon Pike. In with a fire sauce from Taco Bell. 
Now we're talking. I'm going to explode tonight after this. <sighs> Dropped my phone then. I could have knocked it over. Wow. Simplicity is key sometimes. That's going to be beautiful. Bon appetit. I'm sure you can see it's starting to freeze now. Lots of frost on the tent. So I've just had a look at the mountain forecast website and in the morning it's actually forecast to be clear. It's actually clear now. I've just had a look outside and you can see all the stars and that. So hopefully, you never know, we might actually get a sunrise and some decent views in the morning. I've set my alarm for 8 o'clock. Sunrise is at half 8. So I guess we'll find out, won't we? Right, I'm going to call it a night, go to sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Peace out. In a bit. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Baltic this morning though. Proper cold. Let's check this summit out, finally. So I'm now on the summit of Dolly Wagon Pike and yeah, it's quite flat up here. The grass seems very thin though, so it might be hard to get a peg in, but I'm sure it's possible, especially them nine inches that you can just hammer in. So the clag seems to be rolling in a little bit. I don't want to get too close to edge, so I've not got my spikes on. I'd say it were worth it. All that clag and all that struggle yesterday. Wow. Stunning. So we've got Seat Sandal, Fairfield, St. Sunday Crag. You can see Striding Edge there. Down into Ulls Water. Then we've got Nevermost Pike. And I'm currently on Dolly Wagon Pike. I feel pretty blessed to be out here today. Nice to be able to just pack your stuff away with some decent weather.
A lot of people ask me, what are the bottle holders on the straps? They're just part of the bag, the Berghaus Panamax. Really good feature. Well, I'm afraid to say I've left a trace, but it won't be there for long. You can just see the outline of the tent, where it's been. Well, I suppose it's about time I got out of here. I'm debating whether to go straight down that steep section, and it is steep, the way I came up yesterday, or there's a bit of a longer route with a more zigzaggy path. Might be a little bit easier, but I've been told that is a stone path, so I'll probably need the micro spikes for that. So I'm going to work my way down, and then I'll decide once we get closer. One last look. What a lovely day, so calm as well. Well, it's decision time really, because I'm at the little crossroads section. I'm going to head towards where I came up yesterday. Look at them skies, man. Blessed today. So now there's people going up it, you get a better perspective of it. It is so steep, that. People there, look. Got pretty cold now. Now we're out of the sun into the valley. Right guys, with the epic views of Ray's Beck behind me, I'm not far from the car now, so I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I hope you've liked this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up, whatever that is, thumbs up. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe if you're not done already. Weekly videos every Monday, 7pm. I'll see you at next one. Peace out, in a bitch.